So a couple months back, I tried my first 24-hour fast. I use intermittent fasting every day in my normal life, but I wanted to see what would happen if I took it a little bit further and did a full day of no eating. Honestly, I was feeling a little bit fluffier than I wanted to, and I was hoping that doing a, a 24 hour fast would help me kind of slim down and lean out really, really quickly. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna share kind of my results and my experience doing a 24 hour fast and three things that I learned. Really quick, let's just go over the rules. Like what do I mean by a 24 hour fast? So for a full 24 hours, a full day, no eating, no solid calories. I can drink water, plenty of water, black coffee, naturally flavored sparkling water like LaCroix or green tea. I set the rule ahead of time for myself that if I was really desperate for something, <laughs> I could have like a little bit of a Diet Coke or some other kind of zero calorie beverage, uh, but I was really gonna try to avoid that and avoid the artificial sweeteners. The other thing I wanted to make sure that I did was that I maintained some level of activity during the fast and I didn't just lay on the couch all day. I wanted to make sure at some point I got up and, and took a little bit of a walk or moved around, uh, but I wasn't gonna go to the gym or work out while I was totally fasted, so just wanted to kind of maintain some level of activity, that's all. So I did get through it. Uh, at about 9 p.m. on the first night, I finished my dinner, like a big protein heavy uh, dinner, and then I didn't eat again until about 9 p.m. the second night. So yeah, I mean, I got all the way through it, lots of water, a couple of mugs of black coffee, and maybe a LaCroix or two, and that was really all I needed. Let me jump into three things that I learned from doing my first 24 hour fast. So the first thing is that I already knew this because I do intermittent fasting regularly, but it really kind of changed the way I look at hunger and the way um, I think about my relationship with food and hunger in general. Like once I was pretty deep into the fast, like further than I've ever been, you know, I usually fast for about 16 hours and once I was 17, 18, 20 hours in, I had ridden that wave up and down so many times where the hunger was coming and going and coming and going. And I kind of really started to get a, an idea of that it's a, more of a mental construct than anything else. I really believe that a lot of the time, hunger is your brain telling you that it wants a little bit of that reward, a little bit of that stimulus from, fru from food, rather than your body telling you that it's desperate for new sources of energy. It sounds kind of funny that depriving yourself from food for a full 24 hours could actually help you improve your relationship with food, but that's exactly what happened for me. All right, the second thing I learned was that, yeah, I mean, I definitely slimmed down pretty quickly. I think the next morning after I had completed the 24 hour fast and then uh, refed again. I was down about a uh, half a pound total on the scale and I definitely felt and looked a lot slimmer. I feel like you could definitely see it in my face uh, and in my midsection. Actually, if you go down into the description, you can see my full blog post where I document my whole experience and you'll actually get to see the before and after pictures there. It's pretty hard to tell a difference, but I certainly felt it and you could see it a lot better in person. I guess the idea of a long fast like that is that you're literally running off of your own body fat for a certain period of time. Uh, and you know, the idea is to, burn, to be able to burn pure fat for some amount of hours, right? Um, I'm not sure if that's exactly what happened, but I definitely felt a little bit tighter. Uh, I certainly think I lost some water weight during that whole experience. So yeah, I mean, in terms of leaning down quickly, it was a pretty cool uh, solution for me. All right, the third thing that I learned is that when you fast, like the longer you fast, the harder it is to re-eat the right number of calories. Um, that's the whole point of intermittent fasting, right? It, it suppresses your hunger and your appetite levels, and by compressing your eating window, it just makes it too difficult to overeat. I definitely found this to be the case during the 24-hour fast, because uh, I started eating again at about 9 p.m. the next night, and I just didn't have time to eat a really, really big dinner. and eat extra things that would put me over my calories. I think I had about 12 or 1400 calories for dinner and then I was completely stuffed for the rest of the night and I had to just choke down a little bit more food just to get a few more calories in. I think from 9 p.m. to the time I went to bed, I could only manage to eat about 1600 calories and I really had to force them down. So yeah, count me as a believer in fasting, 100%. Whether or not you really believe that you're truly burning fat throughout that whole fasting period, it's gonna naturally suppress your eating window and your calories are gonna come down and you're gonna lose weight typically if you follow a fasting schedule. In the end, I would definitely try this again. Um, I felt like it was a pretty cool and quick solution to slim down just a little tiny bit and uh, it really wasn't that hard. The hunger, like I said, kind of came and went in waves and once you got used to that cycle, it really wasn't that much of a problem. It was just mental, staying hydrated, keeping yourself busy and you know, I really had no problem getting through it. 
if you're curious about trying it, I would totally recommend it, but just you know, keep in mind I'm not a doctor and I don't know how that might interact with certain health conditions you already have. So that's it, I just wanted to keep it really, really simple and give you those couple things I learned from doing the 24 hour fast. Um, you can read a lot more detail if you scroll down into the description and find my blog post on it. It's called, I tried my first 24 hour fast and here's what happened. If you got anything out of this video, it'd be awesome if you hit subscribe and hit the like button for me. Uh, I got a lot more good stuff coming, so thanks for watching.